Hello and welcome to the part two of the WinN1 mobile configuration. This is the advanced setup. So real quick, uh, just to clarify what this advanced video is really for, um, part one of the video uh, just explains how to set everything else up from scratch if your WinN1 machine has internet access. Uh, what this second video is for is to explain uh, if that WinN1 machine is on your plant network, as you can see here in this architecture diagram, if it does not have internet access, um, you need to have internet access to use the mobile app. And so uh, we set up here is, is a, the mobile hub piece of software that's going to be uh, elsewhere in the network, in the DMZ, somewhere on the business network that does have internet access. And basically, you're just pointing the Win 911 machine over to the mobile hub, uh, essentially like a proxy. Uh, and it handles the outbound based connections to the Azure cloud service for this to work. And then it takes the info back from the cloud and sends it back to Win911. So to get this hub installed, there is a uh, little piece of software called the mobile hub.exe. It is inside your support folder uh, with the default installation media. So after you download Win911, you open up the folder and uh, inside the support folder, you can see mobile underscore hub.exe. And you just want to pull this executable from this machine, copy and paste it over to the machine that's going to be running the hub software in your DMZ or the, you know, the machine that has internet access. Uh, one important note is that machine you're going to be using as the mobile hub must have uh, Microsoft.NET 4.8 installed. All right, so the install is pretty straightforward. You put in the username and password. Uh, this is uh, the same account, must be the same account as your Win911 installation. So whatever you use to do the installation of the Win911 software, uh, it's what all of the services run as. Uh, it's the same account here. So if it is not added as a local account on this machine, go ahead and add it through your local users and groups and make sure it is a member of the local administrator group as well. Um, once you add the account here, Again, do the host name slash username, uh, or if you're on a domain, domain slash username. Uh, these, this installer will not take the, uh, the period backslash just to put in the host name. So you have to actually type it in and, uh, and then the password. And then you just click next, go through the setup at the very end. It'll uh, have a window saying you successfully installed and click finish. All right, so now you can see on the left here that the new application is now installed. You don't really have to do anything with it. There's no other configuration changes required. Um, you, you know, it does install the software, but as you can see on the bottom right, uh, all it does is open it up and show the connected sites. So uh, let's say that you have three different Win911 sites installed in your network uh, and you're pointing them all at the hub, it'll just list them here. But that's all this does. Uh, you don't really have to conf configure anything else here unless you want to change the default port, which is uh, 59111. You can see that also in the mobile hub configuration screen. Okay, so the hub configuration. Uh, you open up your workspace for Win911, open up the contact gateways, Win911 mobile. And you just check the box to enable the mobile hub. You throw in the IP address or the host name of the machine that you just installed the hub on. And then you can click validate credentials. That's it, just pointing at it. So I'll show you that real quick in a demo. So I have uh, two VMs up right now. Um, this is the machine that uh, I'm running my hub on. And over here is my Win91. So all you have to do, again, open up Workspace, go to Contact Gateways, Win911 Mobile. You should already have the account info set up from the previous video. You click on the Enable checkbox, put in the IP address or the host name of the machine running hub, and validate credentials. That's it. Thank you for watching this part two of the Win911 Mobile configuration. Take care.